So basically this is what I'm making. So I follow the directions of this and what you have to do is just, uh, the first part is just the, uh, to get that brown at the bottom, the main crust, and then mix this with some uh, um, milk and uh, a little bit of butter. And then uh, you mix this with a little butter, the chocolate chips that come with it, and I just put it on the burner as it's melting from being on the burner while it's while the other stuff is cooling down now. I've already taken it out, so I put it in the um, freezer for a moment to actually speed up the process. So the what we're making is this, and uh, so this is gonna be I'm gonna be putting the this on there and that on there now. So I got this is all mixed already, as you see me do earlier. So I'm going to put this all over top of it now. It has a little chocolate in it from the other thing, but that's okay, right? It's gonna go all the way around the corners. So I have the chocolate chips in there, melting. Just gonna spread this all around. It's not gonna look the same as it does on the box, but that's okay, right? It never does. Nothing ever is the same as it actually the picture of it. This is real. I'm gonna tell you what it tastes like. Too. That's pretty much icing sugar. I mean, it would be good if you put like some uh, lemon, I mean, uh, some orange zest or something on there. It would be good, right? Because I do have orange zest. I would have known it was this plain. I would have um, added some zest to it. Because I had an orange the other day and I kept the peel and I just waited for the day where I'm going to need zest and I'm just going to do it that day. Let's get it to small the corners as I can and I think that chocolate chips will be nice and melted by the time I get them out of the oven and then we're gonna put this in the freezer for a few more minutes and then it's gonna be so delicious it's gonna be the best sweets in a bit that I haven't made in a bit and then I might make the um, that other cake, the, ble the red velvet cake. Just cuz. Just because. Sometimes you gotta make a cake for no reason at all. Well, I'm sure there's a reason, but we don't have to know everything. Right? Alright, we're gonna find out. Yeah, all I'm going to need is to get it and rinse it off. Alright, let's check the chocolate. So we got this far done. Let's check the chocolate. See if it's melted. Oh yeah, it's melted. It's melted. Yeah, it's, 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 I left a spoon in there. Ow, it's hot. This spoon is hot. I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm just gonna mix up the butter. And then we're gonna spread it all over top. Alright, so I think you're supposed to actually let it. Anyways, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna mix it up. actually let it uh, cool down again and then put the white stuff but we're gonna do it like this so we get like marble effect 
marble effect. Nobody has to do anything how it says. You can do anything how you want it. Make it your own creation. Still tastes exactly the same. The texture might be a little different, but that's okay. okay. Alright, you guys want to see what it looks like? Um, by the time I make this video, I might not, I might have already eaten it all. Let's take, making the video takes a long time too. Alright. That's good. Alright, now you guys want to see. I just gotta put it in the, oh, we don't want to do that, you know. I'll come back when it's done and I'll taste a piece and let you know how it is. Alright, come on. So it's chilled now and I'll show you what it looks like. Already had some, but I'll have some with you guys too. Look at that. Alright, let's have a piece for you guys here. So good. Oops, oops. I dropped it right on the stove. I've never made this before. It's so good. It's so good. Like button.